John, first of all, um, how was the golf day yesterday? You were at the Cali Thistle Golf Day. Yeah, did you, uh, did you very play? good. I struck the ball. Hit every fair we hit it absolutely fantastic. And then uh, bitterly disappointed to come in and find out that I, that I wasn't successful in winning. Right, but, I see uh, right, right. All the best. I see that, see part timers, <laughs> tell a hard away, <laughs> uh, come in and found out I hadn't won the individual prize, very disappointing, then found out this morning that a certain individual was playing off the red tees when we were away back playing off the yellow tees, so a lot of ducking and diving going on, but um, a fantastic day, Spay Valley, absolutely, scenic, outstanding golf course and uh, well looked after. On into the football now. Dundee United on Saturday. I'm not staying in the golf. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Dundee United on, on Saturday. Um, difficult last weekend as well at Parkhead. Looking to kind of uh, to get back to winning ways. Yeah, well, it's all about getting pride back into the performance. Um, it's done and dusted Celtic. You know, as you say, Dundee United, they're coming off a, a real good victory against Motherwell. They've got the cup final to look forward to, so every one of them will have something to play for. Uh, they still want to finish as high up the league as we can, but so do we. So if we go and beat them, it takes us within one point of them. Uh, and hopefully that will be the case. But Jackie's done a wonderful job there. They get on it, they pass it, they play football great, they score goals. And he's done it with a lot, a lot of young young kids. But what goes missing, we're a young team as well. You know, I was just looking at if you've got Aaron Dorans, uh, young Christy, Shinny, uh, Danny Devine, even Drapes is what... 25, must have had a right hard paper on I think he must have done two. But a really young team as well at Inverness. And, um, you know, we know it's going to be a very, very difficult match, but one that we have to go restore the pride back in the team and hopefully go and pick up three points. United have kind of been the form team in the last couple of weeks and they, they scored five, was it five at the weekend against Motherwell, a, good, a real good team as well. But it's the kind of game that I see where both sides like to to play some football, and it's the kind of game that I think supporters might might um, you know be excited about and see some see some goals and hopefully a home win. Yeah, well, all credit to the Grimstar because the surfaces are starting to come back. We've got a bit of growth in the grass, and it's looking pitch uh, the pitch is looking good. And as you say, they they are they're, they're playing with confidence and momentum. We've come off a real poor result, and even if you look at the Celtic result, you know the only thing that disappointed me was to concede, sticking up a game plan and concede for a set piece in the third goal of penalty, then we should have said, right, OK, that's it. The game might be a little bit beyond us, but um, we're going to close up shop. Might go and get someone, might get a wee reward with a goal. Uh, and I just felt that we come off the game plan. And when you do that, Celtic were rampant, and that's why they went on to score six. So it become a little bit embarrassing, but pride should take over. You know, and hopefully that'll be the case on Saturday. We're carrying a few knocks, but even after the Celtic match, the boys just come right back in and get on with it. And that's why we've re-signed them all for next year, because we, they're a young bunch. Individually, they've still got a lot of learning to do. Collectively, as a team, we've still got a lot, a lot of work to do. Uh, they show great enthusiasm and attitude to go and be the best that they can be. Um, and then I just feel this is their... A lot of them just is their first year at the club, so they'll be better for it next year. You know, they'll be more familiar with the club, how we work, what we expect, the standards that we set at the club. And I'm hoping that a lot of them go away in the close season, reflect, and say, "Listen, you know, I want to come back. I want to be a regular in that starting eleven, and uh, really raise the bar and push the bar. And competition for places is very high. So look at young Ryan Christie. He's now." You know, he's done that from within the club. Uh, all credit to all the coaches that have coached him, you know. He's now in with the first team playing a man's part. And what he's done is, as I say, he's raised the bar from within. He'll be asking questions to James Vincent, Nick Ross, Marley Watkins, Aaron Dorrance, all these guys that play in that advanced forward role. And also, two or three of the kids that are in the kids' dress room that will still be here next year are linked to think that are looking at me and say, well, if he can do it, I can do it. And sometimes you just need that little bit of inspiration to say, well, you know, and give them the confidence to go and say, I'm wanting that uh, first team jersey. Uh, and that's what's happening at this football club. I'd like to think, you know, that we maybe get one or two new faces in. I very much doubt it. Quite happy 
you know, to go and work with everything that we've got. That's why we've re-signed them all. As I say, there's a wonderful bunch and there's still a lot, a lot of learning in there. It's our job as coaches and managers to bring the best out of them. Um, but it's always nice just if you could bring one or two in fresh freshies just to keep it fresh and the competition for places, they're looking over their shoulder and saying, I better keep getting going. And that's my message to them, don't sit back and rest on your laurels. It's your job at this football club to keep raising the bar, keep raising the standards. So, you know, we can always go one better. But you sit and reflect and say, would they take the season that we've had this year, next year? Yeah, certainly would. You know, we always want to try and get in that top six. We always want to be playing the best in Scotland come this time of the year. Um, and hopefully we can go on one better and get that, win that cup. Um, you know, and you've just interviewed young Polly, I've just talked about young Christie, we're doing it, Nick Ross. You know, we're fully aware of the talent, homegrown talent, and there's nothing better for the supporters, supporters to see their homegrown young players that have come through the system getting that chance. That's why, I don't know if I went public, but if we, if we know you can edit this, but that's why we've re-signed for next year, eight of the kids for the under-17s. And I'm not too quite sure if they'll all make it, but we want to give them that opportunity to come into a man's world. Whole different ball game in terms of how football's played, uh, but give them that opportunity to, to go and try and aspire to, to be the next Liam Polworth, Ryan Christie, Nick Ross, and get themselves in that first team. Thanks for the first job, cheers for that. Cheers, thanks very much.